Sometimes even GTD author David Allen feels there's not enough time to do all that needs to be done. In today's segment, he'll give us some advice. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Periodically, I have a chance to chat with David Allen, the creator of GTD, Getting Things Done. I hope you don't miss any of our conversations. Subscribe below and you won't miss any of them. So look, many of us grapple with a, a common frustration, the sense of being inundated with tasks and responsibility, and yet it feels like we just don't have enough time to address all of them. This feeling of, of being overwhelmed is familiar to me, and I'm sure it's probably familiar with you. In reality, the, uh, the feeling of not enough time is, is pretty subjective. We all possess the same 24 hours every day. However, our tendency to cram our schedules with a whole lot of commitments makes it feel like we don't have enough time. The core issue lies in attempting to squeeze a lot of tasks into a limited time frame. How can we effectively accommodate our obligations within this finite time frame? How do busy executives do it? I asked David Allen about that. Do that. The problem is, is they run out of room meaning, you know, one of the last people that you mentioned, you know, like that of that profile that I coached, you know, his issue was, he said, David, I wake up with million dollars ideas, but I don't know what to do with them or who to give them to or how to track them once I give it to him. Yeah. And so he, he just run out of room. He said, how do I get more space, you know, to be able to, you know, take advantage of the cool stuff I think about that could make people lots of money, make myself lots of money or just improve the world a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, w once you get people at that level of game, any of them that are saying, I don't have an opportunity to add more value to my world, is just fooling you and themselves. Hmm. You know, they're already at a level of game where they're going, wow, give me more room, give me more space. How could I be even better at what I'm doing or what I'm engaged in? That's why, you know, some of the most <laughs> successful people I know are, are almost flunking retirement because they're now busier having, having re retired than they were, <laughs> you know, when a CEO of their company or chairman of their company, they're, they're now chairman of four different companies and not-for-profits and, you know, and doing all kinds of, you know, creative, you know, fun projects and, and so forth. So right. they're as busy as anybody else. So again, it's, it's almost the busiest, most successful people in the world that are the hungriest for how to do that better. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially, you know, kind of what GTD gives, you know, and then let's then scale that back, <clears throat> back down to let's teach the seven, eight, nine, 10 year olds how to think this way so that they are automatically moving themselves into a next level of game in terms of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So, and, and then anybody in between the 10 year olds and the you know, retired <laughs> chairman that are, you know, overwhelmed, but know this is cool stuff. You know, anywhere in between there, you have, you know, all the, you know, our quote market, I guess, of who we're trying to reach with this stuff. People are feeling overwhelmed, but they're not willing to do what they need to do to really get clear enough so they can stay clear in terms of their whole game. Yeah. So, you know, it's an, and I guess if this were easy to do, Dave, and easy for everybody to figure out, I have to figure out another way to make a living. Yeah. <laughs> As it is, you know, it, it, you know, in the old the old training axiom is you need to find rich people, slow learners with money. <laughs> yeah, but in, in in some sense, I mean, the GTD system is so simplistic in a way that uh, you know it it doesn't you, you don't have to be a neurosurgeon to figure it out. I mean, if you just follow some basic rules, you should do that. But the complexity of life is really what can mess up a system. Well, or the complexity of life is the one that can then instigate, you know, and, and trigger your system. Yeah. So, and, you know, that's the, it's kind of the, the gate that people at, at some point will pass through with their maturity of GTD. At some point, life throws them off this game. At some point, life throws them onto this game. So when the pandemic hit, and people had to totally change whatever their work and lifestyle was. Those people who were serious GTDers already were going, okay, I need to now really apply GTD. 
what's my new world? How do I do that? How do I know? I've new, got a new project called Set Up My Home Office. I got a new project. I need to, you know, get my kids onto cruise control now because they're going, they're, they have to do virtual, you know, uh, learning. I need, you know, so how many people, GT, quote, GTDers, use that as the process once they got surprised and change happened to them as opposed to have that throw them off this game? Mm -hmm. If it threw them off the game, they weren't really into the game yet. They were to some degree, but they weren't, they hadn't, you know, institutionalize this essentially internally yeah as as a process about how do you stay clear that's i mean that's a that's a very interesting point and and now that you say it i i, I see sort of a a similarity in my life because uh, i had retired from my day job and then formed my consulting and doing my other projects and i think that transition to my new life was easier because i had a system in place that i could just continue correct sure yeah. We just applied it. See, GTD is 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 content independent and tool independent. Right. It's a process. Do you apply the process to the new content? Right. Do you do you have a new tool? Great. Do you know how to use the tool? Everybody wants the new, new, the new, new, the new, 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 because they think they didn't make the new, new work. So they think the new, new, new is going to work, and and <laughs> and it doesn't work, and so. Yeah, you know, once you really get this, you can make any tool work and you could make and you can utilize it to get clear in any situation. As a matter of fact, you'd better. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a, you know, that could have could have fooled me. And again, I wasn't born knowing and doing all of this. I didn't get this overnight. This is, you know, I spent a lot of years cobbling together pieces of this and getting it and, and working with it. So I understand you're kind of new to this game how you know if you haven't got that all instituted yet in terms of capturing clarifying organizing reflecting you know and, and then engaging with the content of your life um understand it's easy yeah. to get thrown off that game but that those are those are behaviors and principles and best practices that that it's really more a cognitive muscle that needs to be trained more than anything else you, you need to train yourself to think outcome and action. You need to train yourself to recognize what's got my attention. Why does it have my attention? What do I need to think about and decide and then organize so that I do not have that distracting me anymore and so that I get it done. David is right. You can implement the GTD system using any number of tools. If you're looking to move your productivity system online, I'd encourage you to check out my online course getting things done in a digital environment. I show you how you can implement GTD simply and effectively. Find out more at DaveEdwardsMedia.com. Click on Courses.